This is Ringside with Kayla, sponsored by Gonzalo de Mexico, and I am now here with the one and only Oscar Valdez. How are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling good. And I'm feeling excited. The first test we just passed, it, which was the weigh-ins, I'm just um, anxious to step in the ring already. And this Saturday night, you are facing Emmanuel Navarrete. Many boxing fans are super thrilled to see this fight between you two. This will be a Mexican war between you two guys. What can fans expect to see from you Saturday night? You guys face fireworks, man. Every time you got two Mexican fighters inside the ring, there's always a good fight. So we're ready to give it all inside the ring. So tune in. Don't miss out because it could be a great night of boxing. And what do you think a win over Emmanuel Navarrete does for your career? It, it does a lot, and it means a lot as well. Because coming off a loss, you know, it, you know, losing that title against Chris Stevens, and now it woke something up. I miss boxing. I miss being a champion. So to get that belt back, you know, I got to be vaquero. A few weeks ago, you were training with Canelo and Eddie Reynoso in preparation for this camp. How have they both helped you along your career? Well, Eddie Reynoso is a great trainer. He's a master of the sport. You know, he helps a lot. And Canelo, you know, he's just a, a, a good supportive teammate. You know, he helps a lot. He has got a lot of experience in the boxing world. And he gives a, a tips, you know, like a, one, uh, one thing, too, is uh, tips. And Eddie, Eddie, like I said, you know, we just do a perfect game plan in the gym so we can do it at the, the night of fight. And you own many exotic animals. What inspired you to get your first animal, and what's your newest one? My my first exotic animal was uh, two, was in 2009. Was more more than 14 years. My alligator Steve. And now I, uh, my last one I was in my horse. My exotic horse, a freezing horse that Canelo gave to me. Oh yeah, right. Well, 